Waves, Sound, and Light Video Project by Jordan Main. Part 1, Wave Properties. Waves are disturbances that transfer energy, and mechanical waves are waves that transfer energy through a medium. Mechanical waves cannot travel through empty space because there is no medium there. There are two types of mechanical waves, transverse and longitudinal. The kind of wave everyone thinks of is a transverse wave, with a crest and a trough. In a transverse wave, the disturbance, or what starts a wave, causes a vertical motion of the medium and transfers the energy at a right angle. Some examples of transverse waves are ocean waves and waves in a rope when you snap it. Longitudinal waves act, act much like a slinky, with compressions and relaxations. A disturbance begins a compression and moves the medium and the energy in the same direction. An example of a longitudinal wave is a sound wave. Some measurable properties of waves are the amplitude, which is the height of the wave and how much energy it carries, the wavelength, which is the distance between the crest to crest or compression to compression, the frequency, the number of wavelengths passing a fixed point per second measured in hertz, and the speed of the wave, found by multiplying the wavelength and the frequency. One quick note about the relationship between wavelength and frequency. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency, because the more waves can pass per second. Part 2, Wave Behavior. There are four types of ways waves interact with mediums and other waves. Reflection, refraction, diffraction, and interference. Reflection is when a wave hits a barrier and bounces back at the same angle with equal and opposite force. In other words, think of a mirror and how light bounces off of it. Refraction is the bending of a wave when it hits a new medium because they travel at different speeds through different mediums. It ends up looking like a broken straw. Diffraction is when a wave hits a small opening like a door frame and spreads out in all directions on the other side, like when light squeezes through a crack or when you hear the TV from the other room. Finally, interference is when two waves hit each other and either combine to create constructive or destructive interference, depending on if their crests line up. Part 3. Sound Waves and Behavior Sound waves are teeny tiny particles acting as a longitudinal wave caused by vibrations in things like instruments, our vocal cords, and essentially everything in the world that makes noise. The speed of sound depends on the medium it is moving through. Sound moves fastest through solids, average in water, and slowest through the air. Also, sound travels faster at higher temperatures. Pitch is how low or high the wave sounds. Pitch corresponds with frequency, so the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. There are certain pitches humans can't hear. Sounds less than 20 hertz, or infrasound, are too low, and over 20,000 hertz, or ultrasound, is too high for the human ear to detect. The intensity of a sound wave is the amount of energy it has, or how loud it is, measured in decibels. Intensity can be affected by the distance the wave has to travel, or the amplitude of the wave itself. Amplification is when you increase the intensity, like turning up the TV or the radio in your car. Part 4, Uses of Sound Acoustics has many uses in technology, from things as simple as music to advanced technologies like echolocation, sonar, and ultrasound. Music uses the vibration of strings and air and instruments to make sound with clear pitches and rhythms rather than just random noise with no patterns. Echolocation is the sending out of ultrasound waves and interpreting the returning sounds. Bats use echolocation so they can maneuver with little light and not smash in anything. Sonar is technology that uses echolocation, like radars on ships and submarines. Ultrasound has uses in the medical field, like seeing inside the body and using the energy carried by the waves to break up kidney stones or clean medical equipment. Part 5, the EM spectrum. The waves of the electromagnetic spectrum are electrically charged particles acting as a wave, creating a magnetic and electric field vibrating at right angles to each other. They are not mechanical waves, so they don't need a medium and can travel through empty space. However, in a vacuum-like space, they carry potential energy, and it is when they hit a medium, like our atmosphere, when they turn into useful energies like heat or light, described in the EM spectrum. On the far left with the longest wavelengths, lowest frequencies, and amount of radiation are radio waves, most commonly converted into electrical signals and sent to your radio, and microwaves used for cooking in cell phones. Moving up the spectrum, shortening wavelength and increasing frequency and radiation are infrared waves associated with heat, 
visible light, which is the only part of the spectrum that is detectable with the naked human eye, and ultraviolet rays, like what come from the sun and can damage your skin. And finally, at the far left end of the spectrum are the shortest wavelengths, highest frequencies, and dangerous levels of high radiation are x-rays and gamma rays, used in the medical field to see into the body and zap cancerous cells. Part 6. Color and Pigment Each color of the spectrum of visible light is representing a different wavelength, red being the longest and violet the shortest. All of these wavelengths mixed together make white light. The primary colors are red, green, and blue, and the secondary colors are yellow, cyan, and magenta. Pigments, however, are different from colors. Pigments are materials and dyes used to reflect specific wavelengths. The primary pigments are yellow, magenta, and cyan, and the secondary pigments are red, green, and blue. All pigments together make black because they are causing every color of the spectrum to be absorbed and nothing is reflecting back. In order to understand colors and pigment, you should understand that absorption is when a wavelength is taken in by the object, and reflection is when the wavelength bounces off the object. So the colors that we see on everything around us are actually the pigments of the object itself and the wavelengths that are absorbed or reflect off of it. So a red apple has magenta and yellow pigments in its skin, so the red wavelength of visible light reflects off of it while all the other colors are absorbed. Part 7. Light Behavior Light waves reflect and refract like, just like mechanical waves do. To remind you, reflection is when a light wave bounces off a surface at the same angle of the incidence. Mirrors use regular and diffuse reflection to create images. There are three types of mirrors, flat, concave, and convex. Flat mirrors are like the normal bathroom mirror we use every day that reflects an image that looks just like you, but backwards. Concave mirrors are like the inside of a spoon, curved inward. This kind of mirror reflects the light waves inward to a focal point, and when they pass the focal point, the image is upside down, but when you get closer, the image is right side to and larger or magnified. And finally, convex mirrors are curved outward, like the bottom of a spoon, and reflect the light waves outward in all directions, and the image can appear smaller. Refraction, different from reflection, is when a light wave passes through a medium and bends. Lenses, like on glasses and contacts, use refraction. There are two types of lenses, concave and convex. A concave lens moves light waves in the opposite way a concave mirror does. It causes the rays to bend and spread out. Similarly, a convex lens move light, moves light waves in the opposite way a convex mirror would. It causes the rays to bend inward to a focal point. Mirrors and lenses are used to improve optical tools like telescopes and improve vision with glasses and contacts and correcting near and far sightedness. Part 8 Optical Technology Optics are used in many ways in technology. Scientists use microscopes with two convex lenses to be able to see things we would normally have never seen without them. Astronomers use refracting and reflecting telescopes with convex lenses and concave mirrors. Cameras that work remarkably like the human eye use an iris and convex lens to capture images on film. And laser technology is used in everything from grocery store bar scanners to holograms and aiding in surgeries and fiber optics are very useful for transmitting messages. Thanks for watching and I hope you know a little bit more about waves, light, and sound.